Oh my goodness. Stop, stop it right now. Like oh said. my goodness. <laughs> Thank you. So should we just end it there, guys? Come on, let's go. <laughs> Salt's Third Wheel Dates might be the most hands-on dating show you've ever seen because not only do we do the matching, we rock up on the date too. And I, Lauren Windle, will be playing Gooseberry and helping people find love. If everyone gets on well, they can go off on an IRL date in real life. But if not, they can select URL and we'll put a link at the bottom of the show so that viewers can apply to date them. For fun, I like to cook. Um, once or twice a week, I'll cook a nice elaborate meal for myself. I really love to swim. It's a relatively new hobby. Yeah, video games. I really like food. So I'm a big foodie, also a big fan of uh, escape games. And I love to travel. Yep, been to lots of places. Nanny is a 35-year-old chef and restaurant owner from Manchester, the only city to have two Selfridges and two Gallagher brothers. Cece's 40 and comes from the West Midlands and has the big smile of someone who knows they're doing good in the world as she consults for charities. What makes me a great partner, I feel, is that I'm quite romantic. I'm, I, I'm, I like to be very affectionate. I think the fact that I'm quite patient. The most important character trait for a partner for me is uh, decisiveness, boldness, be sh sure of themselves, uh, someone who's strong, resilient. Trustworthiness. My red flags are um, people that aren't polite. Being very self-absorbed. So my celebrity crush is Jerry Hanwell, obviously, ever since she wore that Union Jack dress on, on, on was it the Brit Awards, it, just, it was amazing. So ever since then, that's uh, love was born, I suppose, guys. So uh, me and Jerry Hanwell obviously would go hand in hand uh, to a zoo and we would uh, watch the most incredible seal show. A hybrid between someone who looks like Paul Walker and uh, Kano. So I'm attracted to Kano character. We would probably go somewhere that is uh, adventurous, fun, do something exciting like white water rafting, somewhere tropical and hot and um, topped off by probably a nice dinner and a spa. What we've got here are two mega foodies. She's a chef, makes amazing food. She loves to entertain, to cook, to eat out. They both have that in common. I hope that that commonality will bring them together. I think they, they're both quite gentle souls as well. So I'm really hoping that this is a match, but sometimes everything can feel like it's all lined up and it's a swing and a miss. So let's see how they get on on the date. <laughs> all right let's all just take one big breath in through the nose and out through the mouth it smells like i'm at work releasing the stomach do you do this at work no 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 the, the smell oh yeah, i was gonna like say <laughs> kitchens have changed since i worked in restaurants if oh, this is what you do, you do at work uh, i used to get a yeah, yeah, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a bit of a specialist guys all right wow. listen okay. i'm okay. I'm gonna do something now which is completely off piece that we've never done on this show before. Bring me the food immediately! <laughs> I wish you could see how good it smells. Oh wow, so they might have Momos. Delicious. Are they Momos? Yes, they are Momos actually. Yeah. So some of them are ugly and some of them are quite pretty. They're Wait, what's made. Momos? Tell me, just tell me everything. Nepalese steamed dumplings. So what you've got, Nepalese you've steamed. got a very thin dough wrapper on the outside, excuse my fingers. On the inside you've got a mince, you've got a filling that's minced uh, with spices or whatever. So I've got buffalo meat, lamb and cauliflower. Wow. Yeah. Why is yeah. there only one cauliflower? Uh, because the other ones are stuck together. They're really ugly looking. I, can't, I don't want people oh, to I see them. I don't care about that. You sure? Do you like dumplings then? Yes, big uh, fan. Oh really? Yeah. Uh, so what's your favourite go-to dumpling? That's top. Well, actually Momo's. Really? Momo, I really like Momo's. Uh, so yeah. where have you had Momo's before? Uh, in Asia. So I've lived in Asia for, where? for a decade. Oh, so in, so. In, in, in Nepal, presumably? Or? Not in Nepal, not in Nepal, but um, we ha there are a lot of Nepalese people in, in Hong Kong. Oh, wow. Is that where you're from? Yeah. Oh, wow. Incredible. I've never been to Hong Kong, actually. That's the dumpling capital of the world, isn't it? Yes, that's oh. intense. <laughs> so Why they, have I on. never been? <laughs> So, enjoy guys. So, so the, Wait, which is buffalo? Because This that's... is the buffalo, this is the most special one actually. So I, I get this from a farm in um, in North in North Yorkshire. So I drove like two and a half hours from Manchester to go there to get this meat, bring it back to Manchester. Specifically for this day? No, 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 for, for, for the business. <laughs> okay, because... That's how special well, you are, you see. That, I, 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 oh, incredible, that's it. Big. So I've gone cool. far and wide. That's, you, you that's marriage a ring, material. Was, <laughs> you were expecting a ring, guys. I travel far and wide for buffalo meat. That's what, what I do, guys. I sort of travel around. So yeah, uh, Try and dip. So, so try a little bit. Feel free. Sorry, yes, please. Um, I said because of your. Enjoy your date <laughs> slash you my 
lunch. This is my work. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Enjoy, guys. Yeah, tell us about your job. Come on. And so, what? Yeah. What? Yeah, no, come. <laughs> so I own, a, I own a restaurant in Manchester called Little Yeti. Uh, I sell. So we sell Nepalese street food. So it's not Korean rice. Mm-hmm. It's more dumplings. I sell noodles, wings, chops, ribs. How is it? Oh my goodness. Stop. Stop it right now. Like oh I said. my goodness. <laughs> Thank you. So you are you <laughs> are proud of a you. chef. Yes, yes. Uh, well, 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 well I, I, I suppose I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a hobby cook, I suppose. If yeah. I'm a bit... Chef who owns his own restaurant. That's amazing. I am a big foodie. Oh, really? Big foodie. <laughs> there you go. I, I love to cook as well, funnily enough. So, yeah. Here we go. So, should we just end it there, guys? Come on, let's go. <laughs> We're going now. Back to Manchester. <laughs> That's it. We'll take you home. That's it. We'll meet mum and dad for today. We'll sort it all out. <laughs> That was good, right? Mm. So just tell us what snack you've brought. Mm. No pressure, though. Well, hailing from East Asia, yeah. I thought, what better representative than bubble tea? Oh, wow. <laughs> bubble tea. Bubble tea, yeah, let's, yep. let's, let's give it a go. I'm ready for it. Just a two, it? Choose, oh, I'm sorry, I thought it was just for me and my taste. Wow. <laughs> it's, it's, we, we I got you, I got you, no, I, I got it's, you, it's fine. Three, three of each flavour, and what is this, what is this? I know, no. we, we can That's, open them up oh, wait, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I don't, I don't drink, know. I don't drink caffeine, so you guys, oh, okay. you know, you're off the hook. Okay, What so flavours have we got here? Very this excited. This is the original uh, milk tea yeah. with uh, boba bubbles and uh, grass jelly. Grass jelly. Yes. Okay. Have you tried that before? No, actually. But so, 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 so I haven't tried any bubble tea at all in my, ever in my life. This is the very first time. It's so exciting. Absolutely. <laughs> and then this is a passion fruit yakult. Uh, and yakult, excellent. Yes. So which one would you recommend? So so I'll, I'll drink mm. the one that you recommend. Well, this one is my favourite, but it depends. Do, do you like milky tea kind of thing? That's how or? I grew up. They yeah. call me MC milky tea sometimes. Definitely. I bet they don't. That's a joke. <laughs> Head on an advert somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, dudes. Yeah. Oh, why wow, we go? Don't get no. me angry then. No. Let's try give it a go. Hi, yeah. There we go. Sorry. Oh, so that's a good bubble tea action for a novice. Well, yeah. okay. I'm, so I, 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 I don't, don't want to say something really weird. <laughs> so there you go. Oops. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Lovely. I'll pop that there. So Gosh, may I, well. can I? I guess I'll just put the kettle on then. There you go. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. <laughs> so here we go, guys. So thank you very much. Yeah, I hope you like it. What would be your dream, like, restaurant <clears throat> date? Oh, my dream restaurant date. I'm, I'm thinking back to probably the favourite restaurants, the best restaurants I've been to. Uh, a lot to do with um, the, the scenery and then the backdrop, definitely. What okay. sort of food would you, would you go for? Um, I, I like everything just really fresh, like fresh from the sea or like oh, wow. fresh from the garden. Engagement <coughs> ring in a dumpling. Have you? That might be a health hazard. That's probably the same reason why the US doesn't sell Kinder Egg, Kinder Surprises. Do they not? No, no, because it's, it's plastic wrapped in food. No Kinder Eggs. Oh, oh, those poor Americans. Choking hazard, well that's a bit. <laughs> Another amazing skill, because this is a talent and a half, mm. um, of Nanny's is... I can fold a hundred dumplings an hour. That's not what I was going to say. Fair enough, that, that's my talent though. That's a hundred dumplings an hour. hour. <laughs> can we see your card trick please, Nanny? My card trick? Oh shoot, I haven't got my cards with me. I'm so sorry. Oh do you no, have, do you, you don't have... bring cards with you. you oh, got... yay! <laughs> So this is this is pretty much how, how I get all the ladies, guys. So um, oh gosh, you, okay, this is your don't feel bad if you feel weak at the knees. That's just what happens when when I, when, I, when I get a deck of cards out. It's normal. Don't worry. I hope you sing down, ladies. It's Stealing per- myself. It's per- per- perfectly normal. <laughs> gosh, I'm so pleased that he issued the disclaimer because I was starting to get confused. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, guys. So check it out. So I can actually cut this card, these cards, with one hand. I know what you're thinking, right? That was really attractive. That's what what we want all guys to do. Uh, easy, easy, easy. Just it's calm fine. down. It's fine, it's fine. Just calm so down. So check it out. Here's what I want you to do. Mm-hmm. And I want you to point at one card. Point, don't pull it out. Point at it with your fingers like this one. And I'll make it obvious which one it is. Not that one though, because he's made that one bigger. Mm-hmm. So go All for right, one fine, he never would have <laughs> Don't go for the top, don't go for the bottom. But that's pretty much it. Why Ooh, can't she go for the top right. or the bottom? Point at one. There, no, go for the top. Just... Easy, Tiger. Like, who, who do the card trick <laughs> here? You and me. <laughs> there we okay, go. Yeah, go on. There we go. I'm this gonna, is your I'm going to go for... This one. This one right here? Yes. Okay, that one right there. You, can you see it, guys? So I'm yeah. going to make it really clear and separate as to which one that is. Yeah. I can tell everybody here today that this is the Jack of Hearts. Are you ready to be astounded? No, it's not. Are you ready to be astounded, guys? Yeah! Oh my goodness, it is! 
What? So that, I know, right? It's amazing. That, that does not happen again, by the way. So that's, it happens just the once. Don't ask me to do it again. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> I'm gonna need to watch that footage back because I think something tricky went on there. Teach TC how to split the deck with one hand, go on. Because sure. that was quite nifty, that. Yeah, absolutely. And like I say, um, <laughs> it's, it takes a bit of doing. Okay. So, so, so you hold it there with your, so the, really the important thing is to hold it with your thumb like that, can you okay. see? And then to, to, you, let, you let your thumb go a little bit and then you sort of drop half the deck with your thumb like that. Oh, so half the deck falls okay. down. So it, but then how do you close it not the same? Easy tiger, that's double step one. And then with, this, in, with your index finger, you want to push this <gasps> up like that and you have to sort of balance it like that. These cards oh. are almost too slippery to do it. But you see, see the difference. Oh, that's quite cool. So drop the deck, push it up. There you go. As a uh, as a thirteen year old boy, that definitely did not get me any ladies. <laughs> so, oh, so, uh, you so. met the wrong thirteen year old girl. <laughs> uh, absolutely. Okay, 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 oh wow, here we go. Yeah. Go. Okay, and thumb, then you thumb out. There we go. Bit more. Bit more. Bit more. Bit more. That, that that's, nice, that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Now index finger, push it through. Index finger that. There we go. Index finger that, no, puppy. No. So wait, 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 wait. There we go. There we go. You ready for it? Go. Cheating, but okay. So you push it up with your next finger. May I? Oh, you push it up with your next finger like that. Okay. And then you let go of, your, let go of the thumb. Let go of the thumb. There we go. Just <gasps> like that. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> just the one hand. There we go. Amazing, right? So good. She calls the amazing nanny. Wow. <laughs> this show is sponsored by Christians Who Curse Sometimes, where we love Jesus, but also mess up and curse a little. Christians Who Curse Sometimes provides daily discussion topics, articles and resources to grow your faith and grow community by taking the online offline. Now, we are, we're going to ask some questions in a bit about like faith and da da da, but you have got like <clears> such an incredible faith story or like spiritual encounter moment mm. that I would love you to share with us. Because when you when you told us about this before, I was like, oh my goodness, we have to talk about that. That sounds incredible. Okay. Do you believe in angels? I believe that they exist. They, you believe it? That of exist? course, yeah. Yeah. So um, I spent six months uh, out in New York working oh, wow. there. And uh, I was based doing a project in the South Bronx. Um, working with kids in the in the projects, like in the, and um, I was with the kids. Um, we, we were doing some sort of street outreach. So I was with the kids one day on the street, and um, as I was talking to them, there's this guy who starts like storming towards us, and he's just screaming at the top of his lungs, just swearing like obscenities, rah, like really coming for us. And in that moment, I was with kids who, some were young as maybe four or five. Mm. Right? So I'm like, oh my goodness, what do I do? I didn't know anything else to do but to pray. So I just prayed and I just asked God, would you please uh, protect us from this guy? And literally, as I began to pray, the guy just stopped in his, like, really halted. And then he just flew back. Oh, wow. Like, about three feet. Like, someone had, like pinged him like he just flew backwards and then he he kind of got up and and then he was just talking to the air but he said pick on someone your own size and then he just ran away oh wow yeah so Crikey. i Thank think God. until this day mm. i think i believe that 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 was that was God sending his his angel to to, to come around yeah. no, thank goodness yeah well, um, well, well, well thank God really yeah. I've got shivers. <laughs> I've, got the, I've got the shivers. That is so good. So on the topic of faith, Cece wanted to know from you, who are your faith heroes? Ah, okay. Which was quite nice, actually, because I, uh, on, on the way here, I, I visited um, the place where they were martyred and, where, uh, and, and as a memorial. So, so, so my three, well, the main, my main faith hero is uh, Thomas Cranmer. So he was the... Uh, the uh, you know the the the, the bishop that, that helped Henry King Henry VIII um, separate from the, from the from the Church of Rome, so from, oh, from the Catholic, okay. uh, and to establish the Church of England. The story is that he was a flawed man just like me. You know, if, if a person like that can be such a great servant of God and be such a believer, an earnest believer, obviously he wasn't perfect. You know, he lied, he he said things that weren't true, uh, but but he, but when, when it mattered most, he you know he was true to himself, and, and, and that, that's why I found very inspirational that he was just mm. a, another person like me. Um, and um, Nanny wanted to know from you, Cece, what is God teaching you at the moment? I feel like since last year, really, God has been showing me about rhythms in life and 
how actually it's a reflection of, of the gospel as well and, and how in, it seems like life is very much in seasons, which is what, obviously something that um, the Bible refers to quite a lot. But it goes from coming into states of organisation and then disorganisation and then reorganisation. Mm. So I've just really been somehow just noticing that a lot more and I feel like that's got drawn my attention to that. I love that, so good. All right, let's chat to them one-on-one to see how they think it's going. How are you enjoying the date? Um, yeah, it's been great. Um, lots of laughs. Mm, and uh, of yeah, I, th- I think he's just really great at um, helping people feel at ease and I really 100%. appreciate that. Um, I feel like it's too short. So I, I need more I time to. That's what ask second more dates are for. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to. He seems like a fascinating guy. I'd, I'd really. I'm just interested to find out more about him. Mmm, love that. Are you enjoying yourself? Yeah, it's been very fun actually. Yeah, it's, it? been, been really, yeah, it's been um, yeah, better than I thought it was going to be. I really had the fear. My, 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 my primary apprehension about this whole event was me being really boring or either either being really boring with nothing to say or quite the opposite rather than thinking, oh, I'm lonely. You know what I mean? Kind of like we've been sort of like a... Okay. I don't think... I'd be surprised if you'd spent a day being boring with nothing to say in your life. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a nervous talker. You should see the things that I say to people at I, 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 my restaurant. It's a... What do you think of Cece? Yeah, she's lovely, actually. Yeah, re- I beg your pardon. I've just oh, touched right. your feet. Um, yeah, really yeah, lovely. Very, very caring. Um, I, I, I'd I, like to speak, speak more to her. You know, I, th- I feel like sometimes I... Cause I'm quite chatty. I don't really give other people the opportunity to speak, so perhaps it would be nice to sort of get, get to know her better. But yeah, mm. she's really lovely, very caring. Mm, love that. Well, you know, getting to speak more, and that's sort of sounds like what you might do on a second date. Does that sound like what you would do on a second date? Yeah, yeah, Does I guess it, it would, as yeah. it goes. Yeah, that's funny. Hmm. I, I think you're, you're very caring. It comes, you could come across as being very caring, very attentive, very. You're a very good listener, and I really like that very much, actually. <laughs> actually, that's, that's actually part of what I, I really appreciate is your sense of humour. Oh, thank you. I find that really attractive in people. Oh, you. you know, people just who are fun and funny and um, can put a smile on everyone's face. So, yeah, definitely that shines through. Oh, thank you. And um, also, <clears throat> I see that you're, you're just so genuine and really grounded. Uh, there's no airs and pretenses about you. Oh, thank you. And um, yeah, that that's also fantastic. Really great quality to have. Oh, thank you. I'm not great in compliments, guys, but that, that's really lovely. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh my heart, that was so <laughs> nice. Oh my days, guys. How is this even going to go? Why? Why don't I know? Why can't I tell? Why have I directly asked them both a question and I still don't know the answer? I think they both want to hang out a little bit more and. I think they both see a lot of good things in each other and I, if, if you gun to my head pushing me for an answer, I'm gonna go with hope and optimism and IRL, IRL, poof, beautiful foodie children. This is the part where our couple choose between IRL or URL. If they both pick IRL in real life, we'll send them off on a date without the cameras so they can get to know each other a little better. But if one or both of them go for URL, it's not been a match. And we'll put a link, or URL, in the notes below so that you can get in touch with them directly to ask them out yourself. Oh, heartbreaking. I'm getting like massively good vibes from thank you. you. I, I actually really enjoy talking to you. Oh, thank you. Um, but I think the vibes are not romantic. Sure, for me, that's really, well, I get that a lot, guys. Unfortunately, but but, but it's fine. Thank you. It's, yeah. it's, it's, thank you for being so honest. I really enjoyed talking to you. Thank you. Well, I've enjoyed yeah. talking, to you, talking to you too. <laughs> thank you. And yeah, it was really nice to talk. Well, to almost talk dump things with somebody that was uh, that, that knew what they were talking about. <laughs> Guys, we didn't get a match, but that is really exciting for you because if you want to try Nanny's dumplings or if you want to meet up with Cece, you just have to drop them a message and ask them out on the link below. If you like food as much as I do and you want to teach me a card trick, drop me a message using the link below. So if you're a bit of a foodie and you enjoy traveling and you like a good escape room, then we'd probably have a really good time on the date. So drop me a line on the link below. If you want to join me on Salt's third wheel date, you can apply using the link below. 
I will genuinely love you forever if you bring me fresh steamed dumplings and even more if you can teach me a card trick. But it doesn't matter if you end up not being a match with your date because we're gonna put a link in the show notes below so that people can ask you out directly and you never know who could be watching.